We can start with questions for Justin and Armel, please. Yeah, Justin and Armel, um, you guys kind of got off to a really shaky kind of first half, but um, you know, in the second half you were keeping pace. What was kind of going on for you guys in those last 20 minutes of play where you guys were able to um, up your game like that? Um, we had a stretch where we were just playing hard. We switched up to try to switch up the defense to switch up the style of play. And uh, that, was, that was working for a little bit. Low, we, uh, our intensity lowered, so it was our fault. I mean, like you said, piggyback off of him, um, we just tried to maintain energy out there. And um, obviously, we couldn't put it together for a whole game. But when we did go on runs, energy had a big part to do with it. We were vocal. We had our hands up. We were active, and um, it showed. Yeah, um, you know, guys, just the last couple, six games or so, it has been a little bit of a tough stretch for you guys. But um, just kind of looking forward, heading into A-10 play, um, where do you guys want to see your team kind of stepping up, um, just given how these last couple games have played out? Uh, coach is always preaching play hard for 40 minutes. So that's what we're aiming to. If we, if we could do that, we can make some noise in A-10. Yeah, we got to be mentally strong to put 40 minutes together. Um, it's not going to be easy, but you know, our mindset is to go out there and, and win the championship. So hopefully we can, we can make it happen. Justin, 18 points for you this afternoon. What was what were you able to take advantage of? What was the, the key to getting on track offensively? Um, well, my team, I have to give credit to my teammates and my coach. They uh, got me in a position to be successful. So credit to them. I just played hard. Anything else for these guys? Um, you know, George made some really they were able to um, make 11 three point shots tonight. How much of that was just them kind of taking advantage of um, wide open looks, and how much of that was just people seeking shots who maybe hadn't been doing so previously? Well, um, you know, they have some great players, and um, you know, once they hit one, you know, the rim gets bigger and, and they got hot, you know, they start making some deep shots. Yeah. yeah. It's been um, a, a tough season for you guys um, and stuff like that, but is this how you expected, I guess, these last six games to kind of play out and all? Have I expected this in the last six games? No, I, 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 didn't expect, you know, never, I never expect to, to lose. You know, I, I go in every game thinking we're, we have a pretty good chance to win it, so I was scouting through all those games, but you know, we obviously haven't had favorable outcomes. I thought we played really well and hard in stretches. Uh, we haven't had the ability to win games where we don't make shots. Uh, we're just not, we're not, we haven't had the depth or the rim protection um, to be able to play well and not miss shots. Like, you know, uh, Maceo was better, but last game against Fordham, you know, we obviously didn't have a great shooting night. Him and DJ shot, the, the, didn't shoot the ball well. You know, a couple of those shots go down, which they typically do for those guys. It's a different ball game. Today, DJ was. You know, a little hobbled up a little bit and from, from the previous game. Obviously, we missed Terry Nolan today, hobbled up from the previous game. Uh, so, uh, didn't expect it to, to go that way, but, you know, that's that, that's life. Like, life typically doesn't go the way you like, plan it to, to go. So, uh, we got to be able to try to control what we can control, and that's always our effort and our energy. And when we've played hard consistently, we've been really good. When we haven't, for whatever reason, we haven't been as good, and that's just... Uh, that's not rocket science. You just got to play harder, more consistently, and I think we can do it there. What, what positives do you take that that you can carry into uh, into the tournament? Just the, the the grit that certain guys have shown. You know, just Justin Williams is a guy that uh, I'm, I'm not even sure how many scholarship offers a kid had. You know what I mean? If any, he come, comes here and uh, you know he, he he's playing his tail off. You know and to the point where now I'm calling plays for him just because when he when he's out there I feel like something good is going to happen because he just impacts the game with his effort and energy. So I give him credit uh, because uh, he he has he has uh, he has a great deal of heart, you know. So I take that as a positive how how much he impacts the game. I think Javi Longarico for the cards for the hand he's been dealt this year, expected to play kind of a backup role and kind of just thrust it into into the fire. He played his tail off today. You know he had nine and nine and nine. He was four for six. Coming off a game where he had double-digit rebounds, he's had double doubles this year. 
Um, he's a kid that was too, wasn't just physically ready, wasn't mentally ready to get off the bench last year as a freshman, which a lot of freshmen aren't, you know, and, and uh, he's made significant strides. Uh, Maceo Jack, we've seen him look like an all-conference player at times. You know, and I look, I think back to the, the game at Richmond, when I literally said, wow, like, you know, watching him play uh, in the game against Bonnie's here when he had his career high 28. He's had, he's made significant strides himself. Uh, you know, DJ Williams has, has shown, you know, when he's healthy and, 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 and really engaged that he can be a really talented player. He had a 30 point game. He's had, had a stretch where he was playing really, really well. He's had a rough goal these last four games. Um, guys keying in on him in addition to him that's not knocking down some shots. So the positives is the, is the, the steps forward that guys have taken um, in the development. You know, the steps forward that guys have taken in development. Now we haven't always put it together. Um, it's been kind of spotty. Certain guys on certain nights, you haven't quite had the consistency of having three or four guys play well consistently. You know, it's always been kind of spotty. Uh, but I take that as positive. Our guys have gotten better. You know, our guys have gotten better. Um, I'm proud of our player development. I'm proud of my staff for getting guys better throughout the course of the season. Uh, but you know, we're, 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 we've been you know, we're, we're a little limited at certain positions and at, uh, with our depth and all that. And, uh, but I told the guys in there, there, there's, there, there are no. Even though we lost, it wasn't the sky didn't fall in there. You know, to, the way I frame it is, we're we're zero and zero, and maybe maybe I'm crazy, but I think we could go win the A10 championship, and that's that's just how I how I'm raised, how my fiber works, how my DNA is, and uh, we're gonna go in, take a day off tomorrow, just kind of get healthy because we got a lot of guys dinged up. We're gonna practice Monday, we're gonna hit the road, and we're gonna go try to chase a championship. And that's that's my mindset now. How much of an issue today, especially early, Miller's hitting the offensive glass and they're getting those second chances. Even if the numbers didn't end up huge, I think they got 12 second chance points. But it felt like they were just being able to extend possessions and, and hurt you early in that way. Yeah, the, 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 gla the glass hurt us. Uh, Miller's energy hurt us. He had a monster game, obviously. Um, you know, he's hit four threes coming to this game on the entire year. And, you know, he hits, he hits a, a, a corner three to start kind of their run. Uh, you know, it's kind of, kind of a bad break for us, but uh, yeah, the, gla the glasses hurt us. The glass, the glasses hurt us uh, when we haven't gang rebound. Uh, we were gang rebounded. And, uh, Javi was the only guy with, you know, Juice had five rebounds. Javi's the only other guy with five over five rebounds. So um, we got to do a better job of, of, of gang rebounding because we're not terribly big or long across the board. So we just got to have guys in there ready to get in there and scrap, and scrap, and scrap, and. Um, the times we've done that again against the teams we're able to do that against, we've been successful in the glass tonight. Uh, we just didn't do a good enough job in that regard. We also, you know, I think both teams are pretty tired in the second half, and both teams, I think, neither team guarded really well. You know, they shot they shot 57 percent, we shot 56 percent on the second half, so it's hard to hard to rebound makes. You know, so it's a little bit of both, but we need to do a better job gang rebounding. Mason made 11 at 22 from three point range. They were hot early. What were they able to take advantage of? What were you guys not able to do in trying to contain? Well, they they they, they averaged six made threes a game, and they, they obviously almost doubled that. Um, I thought they got some, you know, uh, Green hit two really deep ones, and we shifted to the one three one. We're talking deep, uh, and then like I, like I mentioned, Miller, who's made four threes on the year, he hits one. He's a non shooter for them. He hits one. So there was three really deep threes there. They had one at the bu at the buzzer at the shot clock. So. It was a little bit of us not reacting quickly enough to uh, with our secondary stunts on the backside after initial penetration, but also is this is this, I got to give credit where credit's due. They they stepped up and they knocked down shots. So uh, it was a little little bit of both. They did a great job finding guys and knocking down shots, and we didn't do uh, a good enough job um, keying on certain guys. And, they, and then they hit some tough contested ones. You know the one like the one that. Uh, Hartwell, Hartwell hit two of them that I, th I thought we were right there. Um, you know, Green hit those two deep ones, but we brought it to 11, and he hit those three, and it goes right back to 17. And you know, we missed a wide open shot to get, cut it down to under 10. So we just had some some, some tough breaks, and uh, but credit to them, they shot the ball really well. Um, you know, three ball really wasn't going for guys tonight, but um, on the under, other end of that, uh, you guys picked up 42 points in the paint. Um, just from a, your perspective, um, how nice is it to see your guys be able to like, attack the room successfully and be able to pick up those points when other shots aren't really falling? Well, we always talk about trying to get threes off our off our penetration, the straight line drives, and engaging guys and making simple plays and making connecting plays. And I thought we were able to do that uh, in the first game against them at Mason. 
Um, we just didn't shoot the ball well. And obviously, we didn't shoot the ball from outside well again tonight. You know, Maceo had a, obviously had a rough night going 0 for 7. Um, so he's, he hasn't, in the last two games, he's really struggled shooting the ball from the outside. So, uh, but we got good shots. And when we weren't getting good shots, we were getting our feet in the paint, get to the free throw line. Um, so Mel, Mel, credit to Mel. Mel got his feet in the paint some. Um, Zoo pushed tempo and got uh, got some, some bounce passes some, for, for some opportunities in transition. And then Javi passed, passed the ball really well, got two guys or three guys for back doors. Uh, so we're able to score in the paint, which is what we always want to do because we're, we're not uh, we're not a high volume three point shooting team. We just don't have the person up for that. But when we take uh, good shots and pass up, you know, good for great shots, then we've typically shot the ball better. And today we had some really good looks. We ran that play late for Mace and his wide open just <coughs> didn't go down. So that's going to happen sometimes. That's going to happen sometimes. But I'm, I'm happy that our guys got our feet in the paint and got fouled and got to the free throw line. Uh, so Mel, Juice, Zoo. Um, you know, DJ Late did, did a good job of that with his drive and spin move. Uh, so that, that's another positive to take away from the game. Anything else, guys? Okay, thanks.